Hello guys, this is Fusion Force, and in this video I'll show you how to make a checkers piece in Onshape. So without further ado, let's get started. First, make sure that your workspace units are set to inches, and then start a sketch on the front plane using Shift S. Use Shift 1 to go to the front view. Press L. Make sure that you're horizontally away and constrained to the origin. Click and then drag. We want this line to have a length of 0 0.686 inches, and then go up by 0 0.05 inches go to the left by 0 0.15 inches then down by 0 0.013 inches now what you want to do is deselect this line from this point right here so press L again and then, and then double press it select this leftmost point and go up by a value of 0 0.05368 inches and go to the right by 0 0.014 inches and down by 0 0.00345 inches Press A for a 3 point arc select this point and this point make sure that your arc is pointing downwards and then change its radius to 3.4 inches. Now that you have all of this, press Shift W to start the revolve feature. It will auto select this face and as for the revolve axis, we want to select this center line right here and then confirm. Now you can see the little bit of our checker piece taking shape. Now what you want to do is start a sketch on the right plane using Shift S. Use Shift 4 to go to the right view, zoom in, press G for a two-point rectangle, just hover over this and make sure that you're vertically constrained to the origin. Now complete it, press Shift E to extrude, for make it uh, symmetric and for the end type select through all, make sure that it's set to remove and then confirm. Now press Shift 7 and you should see this right here. Now what you want to do is start a sketch on the front plane using Shift S and then use Shift 1 to go to the front plane. Zoom in to the center right here and make sure to select and then project this line which you can do either by clicking this or pressing U. And now that you've done that, draw a construction line. So press L and then press Q for a construction line. Make sure that it's vertically constrained to the origin. Click and then drag into the origin. Now pressing Q to remove construction. Press G for a two-point rectangle. This rectangle should have a width of 0 0.002 inches and a length of 0 0.0041 inches. Now it has to be dragged up, so just click and then drag it upwards. And then it should be coincidentally constrained to this line right here. So click on this line, press I, and then select this line right here. Now that you've done that, press Shift M for the midpoint constraint. Select this line and then select this line right here. Or if that doesn't work, all you have to do is press D for dimensioning, select this line and this line, and make the dif difference between them 0.001 inches. After you've done this, press Shift E to extrude, and then it will auto extrude by one inch into whatever direction is feasible, and then complete your sketch. Now I'm going to show you another feature that I don't feel like I've shown enough is going to be the suppress feature. So right click this extrusion and then select suppress to remove the extrusion entirely. Now you want to hide sketch 2, go to linear feature or linear pattern, click on this drop down and select circular pattern. For the entity select this one, axis of pattern select this smaller circle, instance count should be 128 
with equal spacing and you want to make sure that it's set to remove. As for the merge scope, select merge with all and then confirm. Now you can see all of this. Press shift 5 to go to the top view. Zoom in to this circle right here and then start a sketch on it using shift S. Okay, so now let's make a star. How you want to start this is just by drawing the rough outline of one. So just now you want to start with your constraints. How you want to constrain this is select the horizontal constraint or H and these two points as well as these two points. Now as well as these two ones. Now press E for the equivalence constraint. Constrain these two to be equal to each other. Same with these two, as well as these two. Make sure each of these lines are equal to each other's brothers. Now you have a rudimentary star. So, how you want to improve upon said star is going to be Dimensioning. So you want to dimension these two points to be 0 0.272 inches apart from each other and each of them to be 0 0.007 inches away from this point or this wall. Same should be said for this line and the fact that it isn't perfectly straight means that I have to reapply the horizontal constraint to it. This black line means that it is fully and completely constrained. A good thing here in this case. We want to dimension the length of this top one to be 0 0.1 inches and the distance between these two lines to be 35 degrees. Now that we have the top half done, let's focus on the bottom half. So how we want to do this is lowering this size whereas increasing this size to have nice proportionate spacing. So we want to dimension this line and this point to be 0.19 inches apart from each other. We want the space between these two stars to be 35 degrees and this one should automatically be 35 degrees. And now that you have all of this, press Shift E and extrude the star that we've made by a value of 0 0.01 inches. And then flay it using Shift F. Flay the star by a value of 0 0.001 inches. Then confirm. Now, press Shift E or Shift 7 and then make an offset plane using the right plane it should be offset by a value of 1.63 inches and then confirm now make sure that you mirror this half across this point so how you want to do that is select the mirror constraint right here select that as for the plane select this bottom face right here and then confirm. Now that you've done this, you want to mirror this entity across using this plane as a mirror plane. Then confirm. If you do want to 3D print this model, I do recommend instead of doing this initial mirror that you just print out four or in this case two copies of the exact same part and then uh, glue them together or something along those lines to just have a nice more finished feel to the final product. Now that we have both of these we want to edit the appearance of one of them to be red whereas the other to be slightly dark grayish. And this was how to make checkers pieces in Onshape. 
please remember to like and subscribe and have a good day.